the Lakers are 2-12 and 12 against the top four teams in the West, even though Mike D'Antoni still thinks, and I mean, I, I, if I were the coach, I'd probably say the same thing, but it's easy to criticize because they're in the eighth spot. They're a top four team in the West. Eh, not really. So will the Lakers make the playoffs? I believe they will, and at least they should, because my God, will that be embarrassing. I think they missed the playoffs like, four times in the last whatever amount of years, five times, whatever it is. Uh, high expectations, yet they're bordering, bordering on not making the playoffs. What's more embarrassing for yeah. the Lakers? To totally miss the playoffs, like you said, I think it's probably going to be a third time in forever. Yeah. Or to make the playoffs and then get embarrassed worse than they did the last time they were in the playoffs. Not make um, the playoffs. Because, I mean, they're going to have to face – Either, well, they, the only thing they can get is the eighth seed. So they'll have to face probably the Thunder. I'm guessing that's what's going to happen as far, yeah. as, the, as far as the top of it lining up. I think you'd rather just stay home and watch. No. Not these <laughs> I mean, fans. I mean, yeah, the fans. I mean, from the fans' perspective, yeah, of course. But if you're going to be the embarrassment on the Lakers, you don't want to see that happen to you on the floor either. I mean, that, that'll be a four-game blowout sweep, average of 25-point victories. Understood. But here's, here's the thing that you're forgetting, Jay. When a lot of people, especially Lakers fans, it's like, oh, well, if we just get in the playoffs, you never know what'll happen. And then, yeah, they'll change their story when they lose by 25 points and possibly get swept in four games or lose in five. I believe they could win one game. Don't you? I think when, when the Spurs were kind of what everyone saw as a lock to, to get the top seed, I was like, oh, they can probably get a game or two from the Spurs. I don't think they can get a game from the Thunder. Really? I don't think Not they can. Not one game? I mean, I think we see a chink in the arm because the, the Thunder lost to the Knicks over the weekend. Yeah. But the Knicks are... The Knicks the, look so good, though. <laughs> the great right The Knicks now, right? played a flawless game. Yeah. So, I don't, I don't see it. I, I'm trying to figure a scenario that can happen in that game. Well, which one do you think? Which one do you think would, would benefit Lakers fans? And more everyone knows, Lakers? I mean, full disclosure, I'm notoriously an absolute <laughs> Laker hater. But I always acknowledge when they're good and whatever, but I never like them. You know, there's some people who dislike the Lakers and say, oh, they suck when they're winning championships. Obviously, they didn't suck. Yeah. So I would say I just don't like this team. They're assholes. They're arrogant. They expect things that they don't actually work for. Things like that. <laughs> so um, that was the issues there. But so in this case, I would, I'd like to see, see them get into the playoffs, but this is for selfish reasons. To see them get swept. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was, like I said, I'm willing to admit that. And because I, I think it would be worse from, from the perspective to, to lose. To, I'm saying worse from their perspective as well, to lose and not get into the playoffs. That's, that's embarrassing. Jay, depending on my drive in, what time I drive into the studio, I'll sometimes put on 710. And oh, the radio is so good. It that's what so makes good. you hate this team. I'm, like, no, 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 no. That's not what, it, that's not not what you, makes me hate this Not the you, team. but I guess it happened to me. Right. No, no, no. The but fans, he hearing, the talk guys. Hearing the Lakers, hearing the Lakers, and hearing the Laker fans just kind of go, ah, oh, Dwight Howard is so bad. Dwight Howard's knees are so bad. Get rid of him. I don't want him back. Firstly, first of all, he's healthy now, so you shouldn't even hate him now. He's putting up fantastic numbers. But the radio on my drive-in is so good because they dissect everything that's wrong with this team. And yet, the Lakers have more talent than some other teams in the league that are in the playoffs right now. I think it would hurt more for them not to make the playoffs. Just because you're the Lakers, man. This is the Lake show. You're supposed to make the playoffs. You're supposed to contend for an NBA title every single year. Technically, they'd be contending if they were in the playoffs. I think they will beat out the Jazz for the sole fact that the Jazz have two of the most old school players. And this is not a bad thing. But uh, this is the only way that, that I relate to the Jazz. I love how they have Al Jefferson and Paul Millsap because they are the most old school players I've ever seen in the NBA. So overall, I think it would hurt more for them not to make the playoffs. And you know David Stern would love to see the Lakers make the playoffs. If it were to be a Jazz Thunder opening round of the playoffs, those ratings would be good for the sole fact that you'd want to watch Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook. And uh, the ratings would be better, I believe, if it was Durant against Kobe Bryant and Dwight Howard.